Last time on Taverns and Caverns, Kent and company decided to leave our camp and look for the orc encampment. During our search, we came across two orcs that were patrolling. Damien attempts to disguise herself as an orc in order to find out more information. It was a feeble attempt, however, as the orcs were easily able to see through his disguise. Something about missing horns. We take down the patrolling orcs easily and force them into giving us over information about their camp. We find out that the war chief has an Eton at his command, as well as the exact locations to the camp and a number of entrances. Episode 19, Orc Encampment, Part 2. Okay, so the general plan is Rogar, Isundra, and Ediar are going to go towards the front gates of the encampment, and Damien, Elroy, and Nomu will be taking the back entrance. As you guys are heading north towards the camp, it's only a couple minutes of your current location. You guys can see large, tall, wooden walls that have been built around the entire encampment. And the encampment probably looks to be about, it's fairly large to be out here in this, in the Greythorn Forest. It's probably about 100 feet wide. As you guys get closer, you can hear talking from within the walls. There's not very many men on the walls. The orc did not lie to you. As you guys split up, you notice there's one orc on the wooden walls at each gate, the front and the back. They seem to be looking as if they're not really searching very well, but if you do come up to the main gate, they will see you. So and that's no matter what side of the building, right? Yeah. So there's only two entrances though, the north side and the south side. South side is the back entrance, north side is the front. The east and west, it's all wall. There's no um, no doors on either side. The walls stand probably about 25 feet up. They're pretty tall. So without walking up to the building, you can't see the guard or you can? You can see the guard on top of the wall. Without approaching directly? Yeah. Like you have a good view of it? Yeah. The trees all around the encampment have been cut down a bit. A lot of the trees that were where the encampment is, were used to create the walls. Mm -hmm. So the tree coverage here is not nearly as strong as it would have been in the actual forest because they tore down a lot of the trees to create the encampment. But we'll go ahead and start. So are you guys going to be going into, like towards the gate to let them see you? We'll, go, we'll Let's do this. Let's start with the back or the front group, front group. Oh. Or do we want to start with the back group? I would think the back. You don't want to trigger the big guy, I'm thinking. Not at first. Okay, so Nomu, well, we're Damien, and, and, and Elroy. So right. you guys are coming around the back? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so as you guys are coming around the back of the encampment, you can see the gate is wide open. Mm -hmm. You're still hidden from the brushes and the trees. No one can really see you. <clears throat> Unless you run out towards the gate, right. the gate. I get it. the gate's again wide open. There's no one walking in and out. The gate in the back is a little smaller than that of the front, but there is that orc on top of the wall. He's sitting down on a chair, mm -hmm. and he's kind of just mumbling to himself. Oh, he's lax. He's very relaxed. So very what? Relaxed. What is the back? We'll call you guys. Operation rear end in it. <laughs> Operation rear end. What is yeah. Ro Operation rear end doing? I so, can climb the wall. I have a twenty foot. I have a twenty feet uh, climb speed. Or we can use an arrow and try to shoot him in the face. We had to get back to some though, where you can see us. Well, the walls are twenty five feet hmm. high, just so you guys know. Yeah. I mean, if you can climb that quite enough and just take him out with no fuss. I hope so. Yeah, I'm saying. If, oh, that's right. He's on the other side. Mm-hmm. Well, I say uh, if he get <coughs> kind of silent, I can just like yank him, throw him off. So, Caesar. So is Nomu going to try and climb, climb the wall without being seen? Can we or... roll stealth first? Yeah, you're going to have to. Uh -huh. Yeah, if if. Yeah, it's best. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Fire. I rolled a nine, so I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Okay. I rolled magma. Uh, that is twenty-three. Okay. I. Yeah. I. He doesn't. He doesn't hear. He breathing all hard. Yeah. Oh. All right. So I. I would have to get on the other side, though, in order to yank him down. Like, up on top of the wall, how's it, like, situated? Can someone see 
uh, the person on top of the battlements from this side? No, so no one can see pa- over the wall, really, from but inside. But can they see him? Something. Like, can this dude see them? Like, if they're on top of the wall, you they can see them, yeah? Possibly. You guys don't know. Because there's a wall. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we only know there's, like, a wall. Yeah, like, you guys don't know. They're, like, know halfway what's... up. Yeah, you guys don't know what's... If so if we can... drop him, it's possible that they would notice. It's, right, it so could you guys happen. don't know. You guys yeah. don't know what it looks like in there. I'm going to climb it as, as quiet as I can. I can't get over it because I only have 20 feet. So what are you, you just digging your claws He's in the hanging. wall? That, that's, it's wood. That's part of my, ancestor, my, uh, my race. I can actually do that. Do you okay. want to stand on my shoulders? Mm-hmm. I had six so feet. So no, 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 no move begins to slowly climb the walls. Elroy looks over at Damien and he whispers, I can't do that. <laughs> I know. It's called cat's claws. What, what should I do? Just wait. So I'm 20 feet up, and that's my turn. All right. So what's Damien doing then this this turn? And then we're going to go to the front. Well, my stealth was shit. Um, Is he trying to climb? Or are you, hell no. Are you going to try and <laughs> deception or walk up to the gate? Distract? or Yeah, I think I'm going to distract. So you're just going straight up from where we are? Yeah. You're just I'm going straight up the wall. Right. So you guys are like up against the back wall yeah. of the camp. Okay, so I want to like pick up a rock. I want to throw it this way. Is you that th- dumb, you guys? I just don't want him to see no one coming. I he's, want him to be able to. No, he's he's already in his own world. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can you can try and distract him or something so he doesn't look no one's way if you wanted to. I'm not up there yet. Yeah, oh, you're in the process of climbing. Yes, I yes. still have five feet to go yes. before I can pick my head over. Okay, yes. I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna, gonna stay. Can I shoot? Just, Toward just, him with my short bow? I might just stay. You can. If, if you I want. hit him, I'll hit him. And if yeah. I don't... Well, that gives him time to alert. Okay, my, I have feline agility, so it doubles my speed. I can get right over there in an instant. No issues? Okay, well... I mean, you can hold. You can hold. I can skip? Okay. You can hold. I just feel want. like I'm a nuisance at this point after All right. fucking roll. Well, Elroy and Damien, if you want, Elroy will hold. He won't do anything. He'll wait for Nomu. Yeah, he's literally Arrow Man. Okay. So as you guys come up behind the orc encampment, Nomu quickly begins to climb the back side of the wall. The orc guard on the wall is on the opposite side of the gate, sitting down. He's kind of whistling to himself. He's taking it easy. He's very relaxed. You could probably guess that this encampment doesn't get very many visitors or attackers, so he's very lax. Elroy stays behind with Damien. All right, so with those two holding their turns, we're going to go to Operation Front Gate, which is... Rogar, Isundra, and Ediar. So what is uh, uh, what is Operation Front Gate doing? Rogar is kind of going to listen to what you guys have to say. So I have the option to cast silence. But someone else would have to take him out in an instant. So I, we basically have to one-shot him. Yeah, so as you guys get closer to the main entrance, the Oregon camp, you see there is a dirt road leading into the camp. Mainly used for wagons and horses to probably transport the people. As you guys get closer, you're still hidden by the trees and the bushes. I'm assuming you're not walking on the main road yet. Yeah, yet. You can spot, you know, you can spot, there's an orc on the wall. He's very easy to spot. He's standing there, picking his nose, looking around. He's not doing much. There's no other orc, orcs, or you don't see the end near the main gate just yet, but you can't see into the encampment. So, depending on how you guys want to do or go about it, Rogar is going to look at the two of you. Isundra, Ediar, what do you think? Well, I mean, I can blast him, but I don't know if it's going to kill him. I can, what's possible, I can silence the area so any noise made up there doesn't uh, get out. And then I could, before that, prep to fly up there. If we need to. Fly up there, oh yeah, I forgot. So we want to knock him out, or should we try and get his attention and pretend like we have people to deliver or something? Damn, we should have brought that guy with us and made him pretend to deliver us. I still didn't dress that guy. Same. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. What if we tie Eddie R up? <laughs> He's our solution to everything now. <laughs> and, and pretend that we're bringing him. 
as a slave. I don't think Why they'll trust, they trust two us, random right? strangers. Why do we even know that they have slaves? It's an offering. But, like, mm. why do we know this is what they want without proving we have information? Listen, on? you rolled up with green face paint on and no tusks, so I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see you rolling up <laughs> with nothing, okay? This is not going to be a smooth plan. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. All right, well, I can blast him, so if that's what you want, that's what I will do. Or let me see what my spells are. Oh, I can spider climb somebody. That's I can make true. someone spider climb. You spider climb real god. And then, how long does the spider climb last for? I'll just you wait while I pull this app up. It's checking for updates. I figured you would do the most damage. You have sneak attack. Well, she's not on our my side, so I'm not worried yeah. about her. Oh, side. that's right. Mm. Yeah. I should I should give you a little touchy touch before Sorry you guys you. left. Like I, said, I, can, I can go <laughs> radiant it says soul. up wait. to one hour. One up to one hour? <laughs> okay. So here's a rough plan I have. I can go radiant soul, getting the ability to fly. Wait till next turn. Silence, fly up there, then you can attack. If I touch um, Rogar. Yeah, Rogar. Yeah, because it says the target also gains climbing speed equal to its walking speed. Um, to 30 foot for him. E, probably. Um, when you touch, they gain the ability to move up, down, across vertical surfaces, and upside down along ceilings while leaving its hands free. So you can still like even attack while your hands are free. So. Is that what we're doing then? And give him a little touchy spider climb, touch, touch. Yeah. Give regards, spider climb now. I use radiant soul now. Next turn, I silent and fly. You attack, regard attacks. Or walks up and attacks. So we're taking him out. Yes. I mean, what okay. else do you want to do? That's okay with me. I just, we have to be prepared. There might be others that might spot it. But, you know, I don't mind. We're trying to save people. How are we going to do it without others spotting <laughs> I don't know. We're not. I mean... This isn't very sneaky, but I guess we can do it. Let's go. Did they, how had, did any of how do you stealth? expect us to be more sneaky? Yeah, I'm casting, I'll be casting silence in the area. No one can hear what outside of this area. But they can okay. see. Okay. You gotta cast from outside the area so that... Just don't miss. If I cast from outside the area and it goes into the silence area, does that stop the casting? Well, no. The, the big issue is that any cast you do that requires voice inside uh, the area cannot be cast yeah so but i can cast my normal spell if well a lot of the warlock stuff has the voice components yeah oh. well, as long as you're not in that area trying to cast a vocal spell yeah but when the spell goes in it it's fine it's fine yeah, yeah. you just can't cast from within the Unless silenced thunder. area thunder dan thunder related spells do nothing in that area well that's fair um, in other words, pseudo guarding to be fucked. <laughs> yes, they didn't even turn. <laughs> um, I mean, should we roll a sneak attack? Well, definitely, Rogar should roll a sneak attack. You have advantage. He doesn't know you're there yet. Well, unless I roll shitty on my uh, stealth. We should oh. definitely roll for stealth. Yeah. Otherwise, then it's like. But I guess if we're casting stuff, it doesn't. Uh, but Rogar should be stealth. If I spider yeah. climb, because well, he, he sp might be able to climb up and just. Whack if you spider climb them, you can't cast your attack yeah. unless your spider climbs above. But I'm actually. doing no. I'm She's gonna cast spider climb the turn of like the plan current, was. Yeah. I do radiant okay. soul. She does spider climb. Next turn, I fly. Regar walks up. She casts an attack. Okay. Yeah, because I mean Regar can still go if I cast spider climb. He can go okay. this turn. He can start walking up there. All yeah. right. If if he stealths. How high? Seats. How high is it? Twenty five feet. Yeah. So he can walk all the way up there. Yeah, because your spider climb gets thirty. Yeah. yeah. Or, is that what you're doing? Speed. You gotta give him spider. Yeah, but we should roll stealth, right? Yeah, because yeah. he, if he sees Rogar coming, oh, this plane sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I said, no, if he sees Rogar oh, yeah. coming, the plane sucks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, What'd Rogar uh, get? Oh. Rogar got a four. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's not good. He's gonna see Ten. us coming. <laughs> We're going to go with plan we're going B. Loud. All right, is... so you guys try to sneak up towards the side of the wall. And you guys just rolled under a tent. His passive is able to. I rolled to, a tent. Huh? I rolled a tent. Oh, it's <laughs> still not good enough. He has an advantage. He's higher up, so he has better view. He sees the three of you trying to We didn't even go yet. Come oh, in. Or he sees Rogar, at least. We're trying to through. sneak up to the wall so we can... 
So Regard steps out of the trees to try and quickly make his way oh, towards so the, the wooden wall. And as he does that, the orc looks over. What? Hey, what are you doing? And Regard looks up. Oh, I'm <laughs> lost. I, uh, I'm just looking for a place to rest. I saw encampment. Figured I would stop by and, you know, maybe sleep a little bit. Roll a mm -mm. fire. He rolled a three on his oh. deception, and the orc goes, I don't believe you. I'm just going to go ahead and cast silence now. Um, okay. 20 foot radius up by him. All right, so you cast silence. Yeah. Uh, that's just concentration spell. So. Okay. Uh, for the duration, no sound can be created within or past through a 20 foot radius sphere center on a point you choose. So range. we're just going to blast him. <laughs> All right. So at this point, Sooner has an action before the orc uh, okay. can do anything. Well. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, I'm going to try to get up there next well, to him, but oh, yeah. at least in this 20 foot radius up by him, he can't speak outside of this bubble. <laughs> okay. But did I already, did I put spider climb on him or no? We didn't do that? No, I didn't do that. Okay. It doesn't matter now, yeah. So do we want to say I can't, because I wanted to do my Radiant Soul before we left the force as well. Well, the, the That NPC, would be next turn, right? Yeah, that would okay. be a next turn. Okay. Since you just casted your silence spell. Mm -hmm. Isundra? I'm going to Eldritch Blast him because I guess we're rolling deep. <laughs> yeah. Just perfect. Eight plus seven, I think, is my spell thing. Just kidding. Yeah, seven. Okay. So. Fifteen. That will hit. Okay. So do your damage. Two. <laughs> Two damage. No, it's, uh, five, six, uh, seven. Seven damage. Okay. So the orc. Not the blast I was hoping for. The orc gets an eldritch blast directly into the chest, and he just ah. Oh! So he can't make a sound in the area he's yeah. in, right? Because of the silence. So he just, ah! And as that happens, he looks down uh, at Rogar, and he, he sees where that attack comes from. And it is going to be his turn now. So he tries to scream out to warn everybody, and no. how does it work? He just can't? It's yeah, like, just noise just can't be made. In okay. This does he realize he's not making noise? Uh, I don't think it says it. Does he not know? He thinks he's yelling. This is for the duration. No sound can be created within or past through a 20-foot radius sphere since on a point you choose within range. Any creature or object entirely inside the sphere is immune to thunder damage and creatures are deaf and will enter entirely inside it. He's Casting deaf. a spell that includes a verbal component is impossible there. He's deaf? Yes. Okay. So he wouldn't even... Or so he would be like... Yeah, so he's trying to talk. He can't even hear himself. He's, con he's confused. So at this point, he takes his bow and he's shooting it down at Rogar. And he misses. Alright. So now we're going to go back up. So it is Ediar. Uh, Ediar is going to use Radiant Soul. Get my wings. Corporal wings. And then uh, any time I hit, deal damage to an enemy. To take extra radiant damage equal to my level. Uh, I'm going to fly up there. Get up, stomach. Alright. <laughs> I thought that was Jim. Ew, why are you square <laughs> up here, <laughs> Tony? Uh, and then while I'm up there, there's not much I can really do. So I'm just going like, to get in his face. Okay. Might as well burp in his face. Can you smell in there? Farts right in his face, fly flies. Imagine just seeing that. <laughs> no sound, just smell. Like. So you just flying up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. What else I can really do up there? So you fly up onto the wall, so go ahead and move your mini right next to him. Make me a perception check. Perception, it is 18. Okay, so as you fly up next to this orc, he looks at you and he tries to yell out, but he, he's deaf, so he, he has no idea what's going on. But as you land up there, you t take a quick glance over to see if you can see anything else in the camp. You see there are several buildings, several tents, and there are two orcs sitting out there outside in front of two of the small or bigger tents. They're not paying attention to what's going on in the wall right now. They're just sitting there looking... I don't know. Jump out. Fuck just, yeah, they're just... Nothing never happens, no reason yeah, to pay attention. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. alright. So, it is... Isundra. I got one move. I don't want to use Witch Volt, because I feel like we need it later. You know what I mean? 
I mean, other than that, I could touch him with a little chill touch. I need to start you. Can just continue using that? What's the name? Uh, I'll just blast. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. Is like I feel like I should be able to do more, but I can't. <laughs> you will. You're, Eventually, you'll start getting some more spells in the, in the next couple levels. God damn more. it! Was it seven? Nine plus seven? Yeah. Yeah. Sixteen will hit. Yeah. Let's do your damage. What is it? Nine. Nine plus five. All right. So how do you kill him? <laughs> I burn his fucking eyeballs out. <laughs> so as ADR jumps her up down or jumps down next to this orc, He's he gets blasted shit. again. His eyeballs begin to melt out, and as that happens, uh, he his body just drops to the drop drops to the floor. Sucks to of suck. the wall, and the two orcs on the bottom don't notice you just yet. None of them looked up. I'm gonna crouch. What's Rogar do? I'm trying to not be seen. <laughs> uh, He's like, "Where you fight? You're flying." Rogar, oh, you casted you casted spider wall climb, uh, on, climb on. He's just gonna start walking up the wall. Oh, okay. So well, I didn't know what he was doing with this. Yeah, time. he he's climbing. What's his climb speed with that? Uh, it's, it's his walking, walking speed. speed. So thirty. Thirty. So he's able to get on top of the wall because it's twenty five. Oh, so, I'm Rogar. So he Rogar climbs the wall. He's can he, he open kneels, the door? He kneels down. The gates are open. Oh. Yeah. So he kneels down onto the wall to try and hide from everyone. He goes, "Oh, they have not noticed." This is good. I haven't noticed until yeah, these haven't. fools over here start. All right. After we're, <laughs> we're well hidden is enough, like crouching, so to disable the silence. We'll have to. Let's go ahead and do. So, what's Isundra? Are you going to try and stay out there for now, or what are you doing? I. We're going to have to make stealth. You and your well, hide checks if you want to stay I hidden. I guess I could go doodly boop, right? If you walk into the encampment, you risk being seen. It's like gets the middle of your cell there. <laughs> I'll wait. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can't really climb, can you? No. No. So we, Rogar, <laughs> Rogar and Eddie have to make slots, hide so. checks. I mean, I could try to fly back down and then Or stealth out. checks. I, I bet you aren't able to hear Amy. You're She's really, thick. Are you thick? She's got thick ass. All right, so Rogar just made a... Rogar should have carried me. He could have. Can he pick me up? 11. He's already up there. Can I fly back down? Oh god, pick me up you in can. your big man oh, arms. Oh, he's lying. That's thick silly. ass. That's a thick ass, dog. <laughs> she's at an angle. Oh, she's hurts. at, still. Oh my god. She's popping it. She's you could fly she's back that down if you want to. Okay, so you know shape. <laughs> I'm going to try to, I'm going I'm to risk it. I'm going to try to fly back down, pick her up. All right, so you're going to make, have to make <laughs> me a, shape. first make me a she stealth check. She okay. got some titties. She probably has a muscle butt. All right, so you're able to, you're she able to. I got make another roll. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're you're able to pick her up and fly back without being I'm seen. Flying. All right. No, I'm flying. You're just so flying. at this point, you're all on the wall, and I need you to make me a height ch or a stealth check. A stealth. Isundra. What does what does um? Up. I'm an eagle. That's what he says, right? In scrubs, when Turk picks him up. <laughs> Turk eagle, eagle me. Eighteen plus. All right, so all three of you are now on the wall, and you're like using the ledge to kind of peek over, trying not to stand too it's high. It's like Scooby Doo shit. Yeah, so you have Rogar, Ediar, and Isundra all looking over the the small wall, staying hidden. Back to the back group. All right, so Nomu's climbing. You're able to climb the wall this round. Now, does this wall like? It does not connect. connect. No. Ooh, so I have to do a running jump. Is that what we're here? Is that what I'm here? Yes. You just some maze runner shit? He could. Huh? Well, you won't make it all the way. So oh, as you no. climb the wall, you jump onto it, you see that there's stairs going down from the walls, but you're going to have to make a stealth check or he's going to see you because he's on the opposite side of the gate. I know. I can jump over there, though. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Can you make a jump yeah. over there? Yeah. He's, like a, he's a bank type running start. <laughs> You're gonna have to make me an acrobatics or uh, athletics check if you're gonna run and jump over the gap in the gate to my try and land on the opposite side of the wall. Okay. My acrobatics will have to be. Will have to do. <coughs> Come on, get that momentum. 
All right, now how does yes, it turn out? Yes, I said out? Minimum. I got a same way as that. Wait. I thought he's used spider claw. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Every fucking time. And I'm using my feline. Jokes. So now moves jumping onto the left side of the wall, and there's a gap where the gate opens, and the other side of the wall is on the opposite side of the gate. So he's trying to jump over the entrance onto the other side of the wall. <laughs> no, no. Get new dice. I hate the dice. Kind of Make me an athletics check. Hey, this will be athletics. Wait, let me re-roll it. I'm gonna use this. We need to roll. No, so oh, you just add your shit. athletics skill to whatever you roll. Oh, yeah, that's even lower then. Um, Eight plus what, no more? Thirteen. Thirteen? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Lands, but he's hanging. My acrobatics is higher. All right. So... You go and rush. Go on, maybe. Are you trying to do it quietly too? Mm -hmm. I was planning on landing on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And so. then falling off the wall with him. All right. He's trying to, he's like trying to grab way? him and then knock him. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. So, so Nomu gets a running start and he jumps. However, he misjudges uh -oh. the. <laughs> The gap between the walls. It's a 20 foot gap. And as he jumps, his Missing. claws come out to try and prepare himself. And as he jumps midway, he begins to fall and he lands on the edge of the wall. And he ends up hanging. So make me a strength check. Oh, you're like right here? Yeah. Alright, I'm that. I imagine if he jumped on him. Next one. All right. So, rolling something. so Nomu doesn't make the full jump, but his claws grab onto the wooden gate as he misses the main jump. Make me a stealth. He's like Lara crafting it. Lara. Lara crafting it. I just want to Lara. see if he. Uh, 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 that's very bad. Nine. Okay. So it's as stuck. Nomu jumps and okay. <laughs> misses the he's jump, like, what the fuck is he's that? hanging off the off the side of the wall, and the orc <gasps> he looks over and he sees this cat mid air, <laughs> <laughs> claws out, freaks the orc out, but then Nomu falls and misses, and the orc looks over to the side. And he goes, he missed? "What are you doing? What the hell?" Oh, he and uh, at this point, we're gonna start the. <laughs> We have Damien. What's Damien doing? Elroy looks over at Damien. Shoot an arrow. Shoot! Shoot! The jig is up! The jig is up! <laughs> All that work we did on the other side. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, whoa, it was whoa, a miracle whoa, 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 that wait. happened, to be honest. Elroy shoots his crossbow, and he hits the orc for four damage. What about Damien? You need Damien to go. Oh, that... What was it before? Cause it went I don't know. Oh, okay. It was higher than what I just wrote, but I just wrote <coughs> a nine. So my arrow misses. misses. Nine plus. Oh, yeah, nine. Yeah, it misses. All right. Well, we so, know who's the real arrow. Just so the orc gets shot, shot by the bolt, and he's just, ah! All Don't right. you add that? Because you guys have to jump. You guys get Don't to go. Don't you add her attack bonus when she rolls? Her dex. She hits? Yeah. Yeah, it's not three. Or is it just straight well, decks or is it, it dex modifier? I thought it was, like, why is this five? That's she's shooting her bow, so it's a, D, it's a D20 plus a two if she's proficient and then plus her decks. Yeah, so it's five. Yeah, it's your, oh, thought, if you're proficient with the weapon, you get the. Your proficient I thought I had a roll to hit though. Yeah, yeah you that, are. That's, that's, what, oh. that's what that five is for. Yeah, that's what the five is for. So let me roll at that. So she yeah. got a 14. Oh, I added the wrong thing. Yeah. So you got a 14. A 14. Yes, your dex modifier okay. plus your proficiency. Yeah, I added that. So a 14 will hit. See? Oh, shit. Yeah. Shoot his ass. So, yeah, do your damage now. Oh, no shit. And then add your dex modifier. For the additional. That's what the plus three is. Yeah, yeah six. Well, it's plus three, and I'm adding another three? Well, no, no, plus no, no. Whatever you rolled roll. plus your dex. Three plus mm -hmm. six. So, yeah, it's six. Okay, yeah. so six okay. damage. Three plus three, I'm sorry. All right. So the orc gets a bolt and an arrow into his chest. He's, <laughs> ah! he's like, what the fuck? As he's, <laughs> as he's hurt, loud. you guys basically snuck him. So now we're going to start the round. So, uh, Nomu, you have an action before the enemy can do something. 
Brian, All three of you do. Where's Damien standing? Well, yeah. I'm using my great Brian sword, and I'm going to. Well, you, you're you're hanging right now, oh, so I never you have moved. to. You I still have move. to climb up. Okay. And you're about five feet away from the edge. I have fast climbing anyway. Yeah, so you can move up. Yeah, I'm moving up. All right, so you're, you're just gonna sw sweep at him, or no, I'm gonna let the the great sword descend. <laughs> Braver. Oh, he climbed up. So you oh, climb up. Oh, yep. Climbing up and I'm slashing out with the great sword. That's a 23. That hits. For sure. He oh, knows. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 2d6. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. 11 damage. Hey, boo boo. Alright, how do you kill him? The, the great sword just comes down uh, on top of his shoulder blades and cuts him to the breastbone. Damn. Oh, so you kill people now. And then he kind of sweeps him off the wall. All right. He uh, didn't mean to kill him, but it happened. Didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> it's the intent. <laughs> we, just meant to, so we just meant to keep the him The orc gets to a bolt and an arrow into his chest, and then Nomu jumps up from the side and cuts down on him and pushes him off the wall. Yep. And he lands. Like garbage. Don't leave that. Trash. He lands on the ground outside the encampment. Down. Make me a stealth check. you damn right. I'll roll the black. The black. Should have rolled the orange. <laughs> Uh, that is 11. So no one notices no move. So what's Damien doing? Is he going to move in or is he going to wait? <sighs> if move in, then I see you. Ooh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess I'll use as a bonus action, effective, I guess, for no move's next turn, Master of Tactics. So I'll just give you an advantage on your roll. Nice. For now. Do you have to be close to him to do that? No. Um, I'm, wow, I mean, I didn't think we'd make it this far, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So you got, I don't see myself. Yeah. Oh, I got a grapple hook. <laughs> this is Lara Croft. <laughs> <laughs> do I, can I just use that, or do I have to actually roll to be... You have to roll. Shit. All right. See if you... <laughs> I've had this all this time and never used it. Use a, I'd say use a stealth, because you're trying to... Right. I back up. Using your decks. He sticks his tongue out. <laughs> Is that what the grapple hook sounds like? <laughs> 18. All right, so you're able to throw the grappling hook up. It la latches onto the edge of the wall, and oh, you begin to climb it up. And as you climb the wall, are you climbing next to Nomu or on the other side where he climbed initially? No, I'm coming next to Nomu instead. All right. So you're That's able to get up, and Elroy is going to try and climb. I'm assuming you're going to leave the grappling hook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Elroy's gonna. What is he again? A He's a halfling. Halfling, he can just climb on your back. So Elroy just climbs up the rope and make me a, a sneak or a stealth when you get up there. Again? Yeah. Oh. Sixteen. All right, you're fine. So the three of you are just like the uh, the other team. Yep. You're on the wall. Can we see? Kind them? of click. Uh, kind of looking over. <laughs> so uh, you guys can see the the entire encampment. You have several tents. Smaller tents, bigger tents, a lot of trees inside the encampment. You do see a couple orcs kind of walking around the camp. Some of them are sitting around, but you can't tell if there's any more inside the tents. You don't know so what's insane. going on. But you all can see. Make me a perception check. Everyone? Yeah. So, can I soon just see them? No. Wait, didn't I already yeah. make a perception check? Yeah. 13. Yeah, I did that earlier. Yeah. Oh, wait, we don't have to do it? 15. No, this, this group. Yeah, yeah, this group. What'd you get? I got 15. 13. Okay. So you you all can see around, and you can see that there's a couple orcs walking around, chilling. But on the other side, to the to the west of the camp, you can see that the two-headed ogre, the Etten, is chilling outside one of the main tents near the entrance of the encampment. And he seems to be asleep. One uh, One of its heads is knocked out. The other one, though, is looking around, but you can't tell if it's asleep or if it's just kind of dozing off. Oh, it has two heads, wonder. though. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, so we're just going to say, since you're both in the encampment now, we're all going to go on the same round instead of two separate rounds. At this point, Damien. Isundra's over there doing, like, the soccer thing where he's like... <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to start the, the round over again instead of getting everyone all mixed up. I smell barn so, eyeballs. Asundra Damien goes Damien, yet. Nomu, Eddie R, Isundra, NPCs, and then enemies. If they 
So you're still stealth. Stealth. They don't know you're there. Ooh, scandalous. I guess I I think I'm gonna stay here for now. Um, I guess I'm gonna shoot an arrow at this guy's back. Well, he's he, he's inside. You can't see him. Oh, we got that's oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, everyone's oh he's him. inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. I guess yeah. I'm shooting him then. You should have went in, bitch. Or is he behind? No, he looks open to me. Is this to consider a sneak attack? Yeah, because he know. yeah because you have the advantage on him because he's not aware that you're here. So there's an orc down below the wall near a tree that Damon's aiming at. The orc is unaware. Ooh, 18. Nice. All right, so that will hit. Um, I may oh, be... roll again. She have advantage. You might get a crit. Oh. Sick. No, so it's the 18. Um, so I'm shooting in the back of the neck. Okay. <laughs> um... Thirteen. Thirteen damage? Mm-hmm. All right, so... Wait, does this count as sneak attack, too? Yeah. Yeah, thirteen. Okay. So you shoot, and the orc gets hit, not necessarily in the neck, but you get in his lower back for thirteen damage, and he's... Ah! He automatically gets hurt. Oh, he's wow. not dead, though. It is now Nomu's turn. Nomu sees this, and he sees the orc is still Finish the up. job. He's loud. Wait, which one are you tagging? Him. Oh, okay. Damn. We can't see these guys. No. Nope. No. Well, that means I have to whip out the crossbow. Well, I whipped out the crossbow. Then. Can I shoot that far? Yeah. Mom, yeah, it Yeah, I can. And he fires. Nice. And he hits. <laughs> All right, do your damage. Okay. Uh, what is the damage? Oh, 1d6 plus 4. 9 damage. 9 damage. Mm -hmm. So as the orc gets an arrow in the back, he gets a bolt into his head. And he drops down silently before he can scream out, alerting anybody. And he falls behind the tent, and there's no other orcs around to see it happen. And I use my movement to sneak over here. All right. Operation rear view. All right. <laughs> Eddie R? Ugh. Team missionary. Damn. Team missionary. <laughs> We're not. Yeah, a lot of people outside on the front side. You can see two orcs from where you're at. Sitting uh, so there. That one's inside the tent over there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go for... <laughs> knock, knock, it's ice. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a guiding bolt. All right. On uh, this one over here. All right. So ADR shoots a guiding bolt at one of the two orcs that are visible outside the tents. Uh, Ooh. eight plus six. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen will hit. Okay. Uh, Forty-six radiant damage. Uh, plus, because I'm still in my what's name, I also add my cleric level to my damage. So thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. All right. The orc is hit by your bolt, but he's not down. Do you do anything else? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, but no. the next person has advantage. So they're All right. Next person to hit him Isundra is up next. Next person to roll hit. So Isundra sees Ediar shoot. What was it? Bolt? He, uh, bolt. Guiding, guiding bolt. bolt. Hits the orc. He drops to a knee. He's in pain, but he hasn't had time yet to this do one? anything else. Yep. yep. Or that one. This one. Yeah. The next person to attack him has advantage. Okay. The closest orc to you that's outside that you can see. Yes. 12 plus 7. That so hits. That hits. Hey, I'm well, doing Eldritch Blast in hey, case you want. Maybe you crit. Not that really oh, matters. you're right. Yeah. You're advantage. Right. You're right. Roll 5. Nope. I rolled the exact same number. <laughs> How the fuck? How in the fuck? I think that should count as a crit. Ooh. 9 plus 5. How do you kill him? I think we all know. I think his eyes are going to be melted. Mm -hmm. No, the Eldritch Blast like blasts on his head, and you can't see it, but it actually like melts his brain. Okay. Damn. So he just falls. So He's as like, it, ugh. As it melts his brain, he drops. Go ahead and drop him. He's got smooth brain. He smooth falls brain. to the ground, but... <laughs> oh, no. The orc outside near him, he Who, sees it. Yeah. He looks well, over. That's fair. He didn't see Eddie ours? Well, you guys both went first before oh. this okay. could happen. 
he sees this happen and he looks over side and he sees his friend's eyes just oh. begin to melt and he goes, "What? We're under attack! We're under attack!" And Oops. at this point, the whole camp seems to be alerted. And but they're is, only alerted to us. Yeah, they don't. The yeah, they don't know about the back. They just know that the front. And they hear the voice coming from towards the front. We gotta hide harder than. But we're up here at least. Yeah, Rogar. So it's uh, NPCs turn. Rogar looks over and he goes, "Oh, this is not good. (laughs) I'm going to go down. I will hold as I will hold them off as much as I can." All right. So he's gonna to the stairs. Like Eddie is better at that. So Rogar takes his greatsword, he rushes down the stairs, and he just stands in front of it waiting for people to come. And he just goes, no, he's in front of the stairs, yeah. Oh. And he goes, I will, I will hold them off as long as I can. <laughs> all right, that's all he can do. Ballad it. The Elroy on the opposite side, though, he can't see anyone else, but he's going to go down. And he sneaks around, he goes up to Nomu, he goes, Nomu! I think they know we're here. Are you ready? They think they know they're there. Oh, okay. We're just fine. Okay. So at this point, the enemies, it's their turn. You hear the orcs begin to yell, What's going on? What's going on? We're being attacked. (laughs) So so all of the orcs begin to rush out of the tents. They're alarmed. They have their weapons. And the and wakes the other head up. And That's not good. You all at the front, Rogar, Isundra, and Ediar, you see several orcs rushing out of the tents. And you also see the war chief. He's in decked out leather armor. And he has like a headdress on with feathers. And he has Fancy. red paint over his face. Large tusk. He stands at about uh, six foot. Muscular. And he has his great axe in his hands. Both hands. He steps out. What's going on? And he looks around, and the orc that warned everyone, he points up at the walls. He <laughs> sees, it's just us, like... Yeah, he sees uh, Isundra and Eddie are behind the little wall area with Rogar standing there. And he looks over at Rogar and the other two. Kill them! Kill them all! They dare attack us! And they're going to start charging at Rogar to get to Uh-oh. you as well. Isundra shits so, her pants. The tent near Rogar... An orc comes rushing out with an axe and swings at Rogar. Yep. And he hits Rogar. No. For, ooh, 15 damage. He blew it, bro, like this one. Oh, no. Rogar, no. So Rogar takes a great axe in the side. He goes, oh, not bad, but you're going to die for that. And then the orc that warned everyone, he rushes at Rogar as well. They only know about the front team. They don't know about the back and he swings his axe at him as well, and he got a natural one, and he just misses. So Good. Rogar swings his sword and smacks the great axe away. The Etten takes a turn to wake up. Oh, we're <laughs> being attacked. Why does he sound like Yogi Bear? <laughs> wake up! And the other head is slowly waking up. Oh, what's wrong? There are enemies. What the and fuck? He just, hey, boo boo. And he smacks the other head. Wake up! Oh, why you smack me? So the end is waking up. He's taking this turn to wake up. Ends are not smart. They're Can dumb as hell. That was the last boss of Killer Instinct? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the other orcs begin to move forward. They're unaware okay, of what's going on. So some of these orcs come towards the center of the camp to see what's going on. And... The first team in the front of the camp can see four more orcs come out of the tents, coming towards the main entrance. The leader, uh, Mug- uh, Murag. You were going to call Murag. Murag. Yeah, Mugard. <laughs> Murag takes his great axe and he glares at Rogar and he just starts charging. Oh! And he jumps up into the air with his giant great axe and Rogar looks over. Oh, he's strong. <laughs> and so move, uh, Murag, no, the red one. Oh, okay. Oh! Are you trying to kill? That was a 20. Ooh. He jumps in. He's into trying to the get, air, take Rogar out of the game. And he swings his great axe out for a crit. You guys. Three. Oh, God. Plus nine. Ooh. All right. Oh, no. 
14 plus his strength of 3. Are you trying to kill Rogar so we can't add him to Catco? Is that 20 damage or mm -hmm. more? No. So he jumps up and he slams his great axe down at Rogar. And Rogar is able to block with his great sword, but it comes down so powerfully, he still is able to uh, dig his axe into Rogar. And Rogar is, ah! He's in pain. Rogar drops down to one knee. He's hurt. Ouch. And that is all the enemies at this point. It is top of the round. Damien. Fuck that. I'm going to start with the weakest. But I'm coming over there. And when I'm over there, he needs to be acting right. Just for now. Oh, I'm still on the wall at safety. I'm going to shoot again. How far can you? You don't want to learn them, do you? What? Some of them, yeah. We're next to the prisoners. We can just let them leave. They can climb down the grappling hook. And then we can get them. What prisoners? Oh. Well, that's between the three of you. You're not near Eddie are, so. Yeah. <laughs> you do you. I'm going to stay hidden. Okay, so as my bonus action, I'm going to use help on you again. This time, well, it's just going to give you an advantage on whatever work. you're doing. Um, so there's there's four or there's five tents in the back area of the camp encampment that potentially have the prisoners in. When you spoke oh, with that, that orc, pee prisoners? yes, peas for the prisoners. Not parking. Yeah. So the orc wasn't lying. So in the back of the encampment, there are tents with prisoners. You just can't see them right now because they're, they're still going to be at risk though if they hear the people getting out and then they start attacking them. No, man, you caused a prison riot. Shut up. Dude. You know what I'm saying? You give them some shanks. <laughs> They come out. All I have to say is Rogar is really hurt. No. Yeah, this ain't cool, man. <laughs> well, we could just have uh, the Haftons over there deal with the prisoners. That's true. You could. While we do business. Yeah, you could. So, yeah. will I mean, we be, be alerting them by chance? They don't they know you guys them? are here. Yeah. Okay. Um, fuck. They only know that the guys scream out This is out just going to be the last set of people we free. I think we should do these first. I don't. I'm not there. I can't yeah. interfere into your decision yeah. making. So. Well, you guys don't. You also don't know which tents the prisoners. This are. This is yeah. true. What is this? It's armory. It's for me. Mental note. Oh, I was what? like, are those mountains? No. All right, shit. I'm gonna A come down. Armory. Yeah. Might as well join the fray. Can't hide forever. Oh, it looks. Guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we gonna do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Shut up, yeah, boy. <laughs> It's fine. Elrond, Give him a you drink. think you can find the prisoners? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can find the prisoners. They're, oh. they're in the back tents, right? I just looked through the tents, right? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. What about you two? We're gonna handle business. Oh, you go do that because they're all going towards the front. Everyone's gonna need your help. I'll see what I can do here. Thank you, Elroy. If you need help, scream really loud. We need a code phrase. Oh, oh okay, okay. What's your uh, code phrase? Uh, 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 <laughs> It's too much pressure. I, it's too much pressure. I don't know. Uh, it's too uh, much pressure. Uh, uh, beef biscuit. Beef biscuit. Okay. <laughs> beef biscuit. <laughs> well, we'll see you on the other side, bisque. <laughs> so, yeah. Biscuit. Damon, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm shooting an arrow from here. I'm not going any closer. So you'll have to move because you... I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. Too, uh, but... Because your line, of, you're, yeah, you're line of sight, so the tents are in your way. So you'll have to move around. To okay. I'm still kind of behind. Yeah, that's a tree, tree right there. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'll sleep behind this. Tree. No, I want to be behind this tree. Is that? Can I do that? Well, that tree's in your way. This tree's yes, in my sir. way of this man. This is you. You did this on purpose. <laughs> All right. But I'm just so close. They don't know you're there, so you do have the advantage. I so you know. do get a sneak attack. There's so many of them, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> There's right, four orcs it. rushing out wrong there. Wrong place, wrong time. So I'm rushing in with my short sword, flint kiss. Are you going to get closer? And my rapier. Yeah, I'm going to do that run and stab. Okay. I'll run you through. Ooh. Oh, good roll. 23. And then... So who are you attacking? This dude. You have to be up next to him. Yeah, I can't do the run instead. 
I was trying to create the cinematic. Oh, oh, okay. I was confused I know for a second. Gonna I was... They're going to attack me, but this is what we decided. Well, what's your movement speed? Because depending on how far you oh, were. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because you were here. My speed is... Did I... It's probably 30. Yeah, that's the basic, right? Yeah, yeah so yes. you, you can only move 30, but if you use an action, you can move double. So from here, you, you wouldn't be able to make it right next to him. No. Can you, I add as... Uh, you could still shoot your bow. Can I do a bonus action and use dash? Is that a skill of yours? Mm-hmm. It just says move again. What's it, like, is it say action or bonus action? Or, let me look it up. Yeah. All right, so you're, you're using your cunning action to dash Correct. towards the four orcs to stab one of them. Yep. And okay. I wrote a hit, now I've got sneak attack, so 2d6. So you have, so roll twice for your advantage, because you might crit. No. 16. All right, so. Yeah, the one was higher. All right, so you won't crit. But go ahead and do your damage. You get your, your sneak attack damage as well. Okay, so seven. Yep, plus your uh, dex or strength, whichever's better. Mm, so 10. 10? No, 12. 12 damage. So you come up, there's four orcs that just rushed out individual tents, and they're gathering at the center of the encampment, beginning to move towards the front, and Damien rushes out with his rapier, and he stabs one in the back for 12, for 12 damage, and you feel your rapier pierce his leather armor, and it pierces him deep. But he's still up, so you aren't able to use your uh, bonus action to do your off attack. Right. Because you dashed for your cunning action. He's still up, but he's in pain. But at this point, the other three around him are going to notice this. It is now Eddie Arch, or I'm sorry, Nomu's turn. I can actually make it here. Alright, so Nomu dashes over here. He's going to attack this one in the back with his great sword. Okay, so Nomu comes around and attacks another orc near the group that Damien just attacked. Yep, back's turn. Now it's my chance. For Rogar! <laughs> my chance! Oh, yes. What'd you get? Fire! For Rogar! I got, I got uh, 23. Roll again because you have the advantage. They don't know you're here or you're here yet. That's even worse. Okay. <laughs> I take the 23. All right, so do your damage. It's 2d6 plus 3. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yep. Thirteen damage. All right. So the orc takes the great sword in the back, and he almost drops to both his knees. He's really hurting in pain. He's still up, though. Eddie R., you're up. Eddie R. comes down the staircase and gets next to... Uh, I don't know. I forgot his name. Why that's that's the Sundra. Sundra. Uh, oh. <laughs> Put me in danger. Weak. <laughs> First you, you bite up. me, now you're trying to get me fucked yeah, up. You stay up there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah I'll get so you come down next to Rogar? Yeah. As yeah. you come down, you see Rogar's bleeding. He's hurt. Rogar. Uh, I can give him plus two. You see every turn of my show, The Faithful. Yeah. He is probably hurt really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to heal him up a bit. Okay. Use a uh, Cure Wounds. That'd be my last spell. Okay. Nice. So six. Six plus six. Twelve. Nice. Ediar feels his wound, some of his wounds begin to heal up, and he looks at Ediar. Oh, thank you, Ediar. I appreciate it. Is that anything else you're doing? Uh, I'm just gonna use half my speed and go into three fourth cover mode. My tower shield. Okay. To to save those. Cool. So Ediar goes and plants his shield down right next to Ed Rogar, standing next to him, and Isundra. You see this going down, and here. shit's getting real at this point. The whole encampment is alerted, and everyone is preparing for combat. Bitch playing coin coins. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a game I saw. Max. Oh, shit. Wow, well, that's fine. Twelve plus seven. Who are you attacking? The main duder. The boss. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Murag. So you're attacking the war chief, the you chieftain. Want to tell the can of fire first. Kotal Khan, she don't give a fuck. Why I'm witch bolt him. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to be. <laughs> so you witch bolt? Yeah, I think it's one. Murag. Is it deliberate that your die match your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you healed Rogar. Yeah, one. How bad was it? He was at six HP. Oh my god. Oh 
no. I mean, oh, it still no. might not help. <laughs> I would have called in my next session for bereavement. I'm not coming. <laughs> Oh, wow. So nine damage to Murag. So yeah. you shoot your lightning witch bolt, and the lightning flies from her hands, and it slams against the chieftain's chest, and he roars out in pain. But he flexes his muscles. And you'd say you did nine damage. Yes. Okay. He's still pretty healthy, and he looks up at Isundra. <sighs> I'm gonna have your head. Whoa. Yep. It is. Isundra's wide-eyed and scared. Is she gonna move? Or you can still I'm move. protected. Okay. I mean, I guess I could like over here a little bit. Yeah. So I'm not like, oh, well, she's sliding, but you know where yeah. she at. <laughs> it is NPCs. Rogar is gonna take his great sword and he just swings at the first orc that attacked him, to try and knock him out. He hits. Swing again. He hits. For ten. Ten. Just twenty. Rogar just takes his greatsword and he swings it to the side and he lobs that orc's head off. Gone. The head flies clean off that orc and then no, or no, um, Rogar looks at Murag. Murag is your name? <laughs> I'm about to have your head oh. sent home to family. Oh. You are chieftain. My goal is to become chieftain too. Elroy is going to sneak around and he's going to run off to one of the tents and he opens it. As he opens one of the tents, he sees there are four people in this tent. There are a couple of dwarves and two humans. He quickly begins to tie up. Don't worry, my friends and I are here to save the day. And he begins like cut. He takes his little knife out. And he begins to cut the ropes to try and free them. And it is now the enemy's turn. The uh, the end. Just oh, I'm awake. And he looks around and he sees Rogar fighting Murag and the end slowly gets up and grabs his great club. And then the end also grabs oh, I'm sorry, a battle star or battle star, a battle axe Galactica. and a morning star with both hands. And he begins to walk towards the battle. We coming. Don't worry, boss. I'm on way. We'd be there sooner if he woke up sooner. Shut up! So they so move the end up about forty feet. Damn. I'm sorry. Yes. Set forty. Yes. Love so you. he's right behind uh, Murag. Murag looks over his shoulder. Damn, Etten, kill them already. I will, boss. Murag though, he takes his great axe and he slink, swings it down at Rogar, and he will actually miss. Rogar slams his. Uh, Sword on the first attack, but he gets two attacks. I'm a, and he, he what? Uh, or did he go miss again? Or? Yeah, he misses. Okay. Yeah, so he misses Rogar once again. The orc in front of Ediar, though, that's next to him, swings his axe down at Ediar. What's your AC? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. All right, this will be nineteen. So he misses. So he slams his axe and it hits the shield. Ediar is able to block it. The orc that Damien just stabbed turns around and he hisses at you and he takes his axe and he swings it at you. Your AC? 16. You're able to duck under it. But then the other orc next to him looks over and he goes, We have attackers over here too! No, no. And he swings his axe no. down at Damien. You can't see me. And Damien's able to dodge that one as well. Man, why are you tripping? I already said that I was one of y'all. You weren't there. Never mind. <laughs> the one that Nomu stabs, he, he's in pain. He just takes his weapon. He swings it around to try and hit Nomu. Nomu, your AC? 17. He misses. I'm rolling hot shit Harry. right now. The orc next to him, though, turns around and he swings his axe downwards at Nomu as well. And he's going to miss as well. Harry's. They're just angry. Dude, I'm missing everywhere. The One of the orcs, though, that's in the back... He rushes forward towards uh, Rogar, the one with the wings there. He doesn't really have wings, but yeah. He rushes. He's going to try and rush uh, rush him with his axes too. He will hit. He hits Rogar for 10 damage. Jeez. Just got that. <laughs> yeah. So Rogar gets stabbed by the side in the axe. And at this point, Damien, you're up. Top of the round. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I didn't like what y'all tried. So, um, I'm just going for the first one that attacked me. Business as usual. So the, the one you snuck? That turned yeah. around? He's hurting. You pissed him off. Yeah, we're gonna have to finish this. Another time! <laughs> Eight. Alright. Is that plus your... Yeah. Your five? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, you have your off attack if you want to do your off attack. Offhand attack. Ten. That will miss. All right. Why is this fight trash? You can it's still. It's just us missing. You can still move though, if you want. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use cutting action. Do disengage, um, which allows me to kind of back up without giving my enemies attack of opportunity. Um, so I'm gonna go back. Not this much, I guess. Okay, I'm pretty sure the your offhand attack is your bonus action, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Damn. Oh, well, I ain't going nowhere. You already have a skill anyway. If you were to move away, you still can't yeah. attack. By attack Regardless. Of only by that person you attack. Yeah. Well. So the only, so the one would get an attack of opportunity on you. If you moved away. No, I'm going to move since it like, can't be used. Okay. For, to my advantage. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay. I'm hanging out. I mean, if you just stand there, they, they, I mean, they'll attack me. in the next round. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, can I hide? Is it too late? Just block. Easy. Well, you can attempt to hide, but they're on alert. Yeah, and they're going to basically see where you go at this point. Mm. I mean, you can attempt to hide, but... It might work. It, it depends on the rolls. Yeah, you've been trash. I'm going to go behind this tree <laughs> and see if I can lure him in. <laughs> I see, go around the tree. No, I'm gonna go around this tree. Can I go around this tree? I mean, they say there's that opportunity, but yeah. There's always opportunity. Yeah. Well, the one will still get an attack of opportunity on you. So it just doesn't matter. Well, so there's two there. Yeah. One of them can get an attack opportunity. Only if one. Try, if you try to run away. Correct. Then I'm not running away. Okay, so you stay. Skip my turn. Skip stay, my turn. Stay on your ground. At this point. I'm just gonna rely on Ryan Lone like shit. <laughs> I mean, All right, my so you, HP so you, is not very. So you're high. back where you were then. But I've taken no. All right, so you stand your ground. Yeah. No move. No move slashes at the other uh, the guy he's been already been hitting. All right. He's gonna try to take his right arm off at the shoulder. Oh. And he does. All right. Let's do your damage. Twelve damage. How do you kill him? I take his right arm off at the shoulder. <laughs> And then, I'm not done yet. I'm moving. But wait, there's more. After he's dead, I move forward behind this guy. Action surge. Okay, bonus action to action surge. You get another. That red die's been good to you. What are you doing? Good point. <laughs> Die. Drive a hard bargain. Ain't failed you yet. Uh... Wait. That is. Oh, that's not going good. 11? No. That does not do it. Wasted action surge. So you go and you move and he. Swings his axe to knock your weapon away, and he glares at you. It is now Eddie's turn. Uh, well, no one's getting any more heals, <laughs> so I'm just going to. Uh, I'm gonna use my channel divinity radiant defense. Okay. To buff. Uh, Rogar. Rogar. Uh, the ah. first time he is hit by an attack within the next minute, the attacker takes radiant damage equal to two d10 plus my cleric level. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a... That recharges on short rest, and I only get one until, like, level six or something. Okay. Uh, so whenever he gets attacked, they take damage, basically. Yeah. Do they have to hit, though. They have to hit. Yeah. Okay. Hold my ground, spend All right. my speed to uh, stay in three-fourths cover. Okay. Is Rogar okay? Isundra, you're up. He's hurt. Should I throw a potion at Rogar, or...? You could. He looks really hurt. But if I do that, it ends my wish bowl, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, cause you, you have to. Yeah, because if you're going to heal him, that's an action to yeah. to go down there and give him the potion. What What did you roll? A one. One damage? Are you, so you're not doing a potion? You're no. keeping... Okay, so one damage to Murag. I wasn't even worth doing. There you go. All right. So Murad still has the bolt on him, and he's growling. He's annoyed at this point. All right, NPCs. Uh, Rogar is hurt, but he 
feels he has to take as many out before he goes down. He doesn't want to try and heal himself. Jeez. What he a swings man. What a man. for 16. He hits the orc that came rushing up at him for, for only 5 damage. Swings again. He misses. It's only 5 damage to the new orc next to him. No. And he just, he's so hurt. His, his greatsword is only able to do minimal damage to the orc in front of him. Elroy rushes off to another tent. And the closest tent that he is next to, there is no one in it. That's all he can do. Damien? Oh, I'm sorry, it's enemies. Yeah, My bad. say, I made yeah. it yet. What do you mean, Damien? Yeah. The enemies, down. the two that, or the one that's uh, next to you, Damien, swings. Which race again? Who, Red Cape? Yeah, Red Cape. Pussy ass, 16. <laughs> Alright, that hits. I knew it. He does 10 damage. <gasps> he takes his axe and he swings it at Damon in, in anger Damon for 10 damage. Coughs up blood. <coughs> Bitch. The other one that you had stabbed turns around. He's so hurt. He just misses. He's not able to hit you. But the one that Nomu tried to hit. <clears throat> think you're tough stuff. No raises blade. Die! And I rolled a 13. That's going to miss. Yeah. You're able to block it. The end is coming. And I'm going to make me a... Oh, the end is coming. I thought I said the right. end is coming. So he like, sees... The end, I rolled a nat 20 on his perception. He's running, and he sees... One head sees what's going on next to the Murag. And the other head looks over at the back. And the other head's like, Oh, we're being attacked on the other side. We should go help. Boss has this. And the other head looks at the other one. No, boss said we have to help him. Boss, what we do? And uh, Murad looks over. Boss, go help the others. I'll kill this one here. And the end turns around. Yes, master. He turns around and he begins to walk towards the Nomu and Damien. Oh, Jesus. And he comes rushing. Oh, How far? Oh. He's, he's right next to that other orc. He comes rushing, his belly is bouncing as he is. He has a morning star and a battle wax <coughs> in both hands. I'm coming, don't worry. And Nomu sees, and Eddie, or Nomu and Damien see this giant two headed ogre rushing their way. As he walks, the ground shakes beneath them. Do you see that shit? I mean, we see them over the wall, but like up close. Murad takes his great axe. This. Dragonborn's gonna make a good trophy. He swings his great axe down at Rogar for... And he misses. But he swings again because he has two attacks, just like Rogar. For 19. I'm gonna use my Shield of the Faithful to... Is that a reaction? Yes. Uh, basically give it disadvantage. Okay. Disadvantage? Roll a 17. <laughs> so that's still gonna hit. So... He hits Rogar for... Oh! 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 <laughs> Rogar, no! For nine damage. Oh. Rogar has eight HP. Oh my god. Radiant defense triggers. Yeah, so uh, as he swings his great axe, Rogar is hit, and he goes unconscious. And he drops, bleeding out. But Murag takes the damage of... My raid defense. Yes. Uh, and because it's the first time I've dealt damage this turn, he also takes the damage from my uh, Radiant Soul for so my uh, level as well. So okay. So 2d10 plus my level all together. All right, so roll or, that. No, it'd be 2d10 plus my level plus my level. So the Radiant Defense also So 2d10 plus your level is 4. Uh, it'll be my level twice. Yeah, because of the so percent. 8, basically. 8 to whatever you roll. Nice. So nine, nine plus five. Five. So that's fourteen plus eight. Twenty-two. Yep. So basically, the Murag swings his great axe, and he's able to swiftly hit Rogar before Rogar can deflect it with his great sword. And as Rogar is hit, he falls to the ground on one knee, and he goes, "Oh, I may not be as strong as I would like." And he, he falls unconsciously, but as Murag swings his great axe, he gets sh it's a shock, uh, or it's like a, it's a radiant, damage. radiant damage. So he gets a radiant burst, and Murag just flinches. He goes, ah! 
Stay away from my ally. All right, Damn, so... Damien all the way in the back. Period! <laughs> Period! The other Please. orc that's in front of Ediar, he goes, Don't forget about me. And he swings his great axe down at Ediar. For four, he's going to miss completely. The um, others have already moved. So that is it for the enemies. And that's where we're going to end episode 19 of Taverns and Caverns. Until next time, everyone. Thanks again, everyone, for listening to Taverns and Caverns. We all appreciate the continued support and the love that we have received for the podcast. You can follow us again at Taverns Caverns on Twitter. This is Ryan, the DM, at Haphazard DM. You can also find our players Felicia slash Isundra on Twitter at Dagger Tribal. Bry slash Damien slash Desiree at OMFG underscore I'm awesome. Julian slash Eddie R at JW Player Zero on Twitter. And unlike the rest of us, unfortunately, Rob slash Nomu does not have a Twitter. And if any of you awesome listeners have a moment, please remember to follow, like, and or comment about Taverns and Caverns to let us know how we're doing. Thank you for listening. Until next time.